Hi, this is Glenn with Independence Training, and I'd like to talk a little bit about muzzle flash. You know, a lot of people, when they think about their self-defense ammunition, they're trying to think about, you know, what's the best gun for self-defense, what's the best bullet for self-defense, which one's going to inflict the most damage. Now, one thing that not everyone thinks about when they're selecting their self-defense ammunition is what kind of flash that ammunition is going to put out when it's fired. We know that most self-defense situations uh, involve low light or no light conditions we are going to be firing under you know less than optimal lighting conditions and how much flash is produced by that ammunition is, is potentially going to disrupt your sight picture disrupt your night vision capability not you know a, a night vision device so to speak but your natural night vision capabilities and you don't want any of these senses reduced when you're in a critical stress situation. So what we're going to show you here is a series of pictures that was given to us by one of our students named Justin. Thank you very much Justin for providing us with these pictures. And what he's going to show are several different loads from a full-size 9mm handgun, a compact 9mm handgun, a full-size 45 ACP handgun, and his M4 or AR-15 variant. First we have something to kind of establish a baseline 9mm Winchester NATO rounds, 124 grain full metal jacket. Uh, next you're going to be looking at the Federal 115 grain full metal jacket. This is just a standard factory load. You can see how much brighter it is than that Winchester round. And you're going to be looking at some more factory ammunition here, just regular full metal jacket. Uh, this is American Eagle, 115 grain. Now we're going to get into a little bit more of the, the self-defense type of ammunition. Here's some 135 grain Federal Hydra Shocks. Here's some 124 grain Hornady Tap. Then we're going to be looking at some Corbon DPX 115 grain Plus P or their Thunder Ranch Round. Some 115 grain Remington Hollow Point. Now these are bulk factory hollow point ammunition. Look how bright that flash is. Now some people may go and grab this because they see, hey, it's a good deal on some hollow point ammunition. They go to start shooting this kind of thing in a low light, no light situation. And uh, yeah, they're going to be unpleasantly surprised. Now we're going to move down to that compact gun. This is the, the CAR PM9. And this picture is some Federal Full Metal Jacket 115 grain rounds. Again, just factory ammunition. Here's that factory American Eagle 115 grain Full Metal Jacket. And now we're going to start getting into those self-defense loads with the car. Here's a 124 grain plus P Federal HST. This is my personal preferred carry load. The 135 grain Federal Hydra Shock. Here it is with that Corbon DPX 115 grain plus P or their Thunder Ranch offering. And the 124 grain Hornady Tap. And last but certainly not least, or maybe in this case is the least, and that is the 115 grain Remington jacket hollow point. So now we're going to move to the 45 ACP. Now for this test, Justin used a 1911. And here it is with Winchester 230 grain full metal jacket. Here's the Remington Golden Saber 185 grain jacketed hollow point. This is one of, uh, one of my other preferred self-defense loads. Here it is with the Corbon DPX 185 grain plus P. Now lastly, he pulled out his AR-15. This is a 16-inch barreled AR-15 with an A2 flash hider. You know, a lot of people knock on the A2 flash hider, and there's some better ones out there on the market. Uh, there's certainly some worse ones out there, and most AR-15s come with the A2 flash hider, and in my opinion, it's one of the best ones uh, out there on the market. Here it is with some Federal 62-grain open-tip match. And here it is with some Wolf 55-grain full metal jacket, and lastly with some Remington 55 grain metal cased ammunition. Again, kind of bulk pack stuff. Well, hopefully this gives you a little something to think about when you're selecting your self-defense ammunition. You know, as always, consider all the options and all the angles. Don't just go off of what somebody says is, you know, the best option for this or best option for that. Do your own homework. Do your own research. Go out with your self-defense ammunition in a low light, no light situation and see just how bright that flash is. See if it disrupts your sight picture. See if it messes up your natural night vision. And then make an educated decision for what ammunition is going to best fit your situation. I'm Glenn Stilson with Independence Training. Stay aware. Stay safe. Train hard.